Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be taking a look at a simulation of the early universe using Universe Sandbox Square. We're going to talk about the Big Bang and we're also briefly going to talk about how I created this. Welcome to What The Math. So Universe Sandbox Square is actually great at simulating planets and stars, it's great at simulating um, a lot of things, even to some extent galaxies, but it doesn't really simulate the actual universe itself. So to create this unusual image that you see on the screen, which is in a sense the early universe right after the Big Bang, I had to do a little bit of cheating and I'm going to show you near the end of the video how I did this. But what you're observing is essentially what the universe may have looked like uh, right after the Big Bang. And basically this is the expansion or the early expansion of the universe right in front of your eyes. It does happen relatively quickly. As a matter of fact, there's a period of time here where the universe expanded so fast that it kind of just accelerated to the point where it became extra, extra, extra large really quickly. But unfortunately, we're not able to simulate this just yet. But other than that, I think this is actually probably one of the best simulations of the er early universe I was able to create in any of the simulations or in any of the video games. And so this is probably something that started to happen about 13.8 billion years ago. And something that we still know very, very little about, but we know that it's most likely how our universe started. Now, there is very little to actually say in terms of why this happened. As a matter of fact, one of the more recent articles about the Big Bang and the reasons behind the Big Bang was actually from Stephen Hawking right before he passed away. He wrote an article saying that there doesn't need to be a reason for the Big Bang. As a matter of fact, according to his uh, understanding of the universe and of course uh, his study of the quantum mechanics and just the understanding of the universe itself, he was able to uh, quite confidently say that universe could have actually started from nothing for no reason whatsoever. And what's even more interesting is that he was able to actually, uh, to some extent, prove or show that before the existence of the universe and before the Big Bang, there didn't have to be anything. As a matter of fact, this is something that we have to understand is that universe is basically space time and space and time are completely connected to each other. And in that sense, right before the universe started, space and time existed in a tiny, tiny point. In other words, right before the universe started, there was no time. And obviously, there was no space. Or I guess space was infinitely small. And if there was no time, then there is no before the Big Bang. Before didn't exist. There was actually nothing to measure at this point. So as soon as the Big Bang started, that's when the time started, and that's when our understanding of space and time began as well. Well, anyway, we'll talk more about all of this later on, but for now, let me actually just show you how I created this beautiful uh, creation and show you how I basically cheated the system. To start this, you need to pick any galaxy you want. I'm going to choose this one right here, and I'm also going to basically uh, turn my background completely gray. Now, what you need to do is select the entire galaxy, and when you start editing it, if you actually try to turn it, it will automatically change into this unusually looking, but somewhat beautiful looking, ball of matter. As a matter of fact, it's compact matter, which suggests that this is kind of what the early galaxies and uh, part of the early universe looked like. And then if you actually let it go, it's, it will start wobbling around. Uh, it will start moving around, it will start uh, kind of shaking everywhere. What's actually interesting is that uh, here you can even start playing around with time and gravity. If you increase the gravity by like 100, it will start shaking like crazy. It will actually start moving a lot more and it will basically um, create a very unusual, uh, I guess, galaxy, but to some extent also early universe. And then if you decide to let go of the gravity completely, it will all start flying apart. And what's interesting is that all of it flies apart in a somewhat two-dimensional manner. Nothing is flying up and down. Almost everything is flying uh, laterally in a single plane. 
So for this reason, it's actually quite possible that maybe just maybe our universe is also expanding in this way as well. Maybe just maybe. There is not much up and down, but there's a lot of lateral expansion. We won't be able to prove or see any of this anytime soon, but it is a possibility. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video, and hopefully you learned something from it. And hopefully now you know how to create your own early universe and how Universe Sandbox Square can actually recreate this unusual uh, time and space in space time. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and consider supporting this channel on Patreon. I'll see you tomorrow. Space is out, and as always, bye bye.